Hi, everybody. Uh, 5.30 on what has been a, a pretty decent Tuesday. We had the cloudy skies. With the clouds, we still warmed up to 51 degrees, which is what we hit on Monday. Monday had the sunshine, so that kind of surprised me. Now we're getting into a little push of warmer air ahead of tomorrow's cold front. That little surge is producing some light precipitation out there, which we expected. And here it is on the regional radar. And you can see it's a fairly decent shield of some light rain off to our west. So it could be what I call drippy through mid-evening. This is just light stuff, not much wind with it, just a, a little bit of wetness for your evening hours. The main thing I want to talk about is the cold front that comes in tomorrow morning. Uh, that times into Portland at about 10 a.m., but we could have steady rain no later than about 6 o'clock in the morning. So on the wide infrared satellite picture, there's the cold front right there that comes in tomorrow. We'll bring a solid steady rain band in the morning. And then look, there's another system back here if you're looking at just satellite imagery, but it's important to note that See this next system coming in? See how the contours kind of arch or ridge up? That's an area of high pressure. It's going to build, deflect, or hold that system off. And basically, we'll have tomorrow's system coming in. And then just like that, we'll get back to some dry weather on Thursday and on, um, on, on Friday as well. Uh, I do want to point out, let me go back to my, my homepage real quick. This is also available on my app. But on the bottom of the homepage, if you scroll down, See the weather model uh, rain forecast? It goes out several days. I'm going to let it play and then come back into, let's see here, um, into tomorrow. Let me, let me, uh, okay, let me just play it. Okay, here we go. Okay. See this rain that's coming in? That's 2 o'clock. It's starting to push through us. If I back it up, uh, here's pretty solid rain up and down the western part of our state at 9 o'clock in the morning. So, again, solid rain band in the morning into early afternoon. It could be. 2 o'clock before we start breaking all that into scattered showers. The headlines for tomorrow. Steady morning rain, breaking into showers, maybe as early as 1 or as late as 2 in the afternoon. Coast rain totals, which will be a morning rain event, pretty impressive, maybe an inch and a quarter on average. Valley rain totals from Albany all the way up to Kelso and Longview, a half of an inch on average, maybe a little bit more in some spots, a little bit less than others, but a good, good soak. And then Cascade, 6 inches of snow at past level. When you get up above past level, um, my forecast shows 10 inches. So 10 inches, perhaps at 5,000 feet and higher tomorrow at Meadows and Timberline. That's a great day for skiers and boarders. Thursday could be some flurries early, but then back to dry weather on Friday. There's a little system on Saturday, 1 to 4, with snow levels still at 4,000 down to 2,000 feet. So promising snow levels the next couple of days. A wet government camp right now will be snow covered. That highway will be white with snow when I talk to you tomorrow. So here's our seven-day forecast. The light stuff out there this evening. Get a bit of a dry break tonight. 42 in the morning, 47 for a high. Not much wind with this. Maybe some early gusts to uh, 35 miles per hour at the coast from the southwest tomorrow. But here in the valley, I think it's more like 10 to 20 mile per hour wind gusts. Again, not a lot of wind. The big story is the morning rain breaking into showers in the afternoon. Maybe a lingering shower Thursday morning. Otherwise, we'll be dry. Notice the lows are going to get chilly. Maybe I'm too low on Thursday, but Friday... I think we could have some fairly widespread freezing temperatures, some frosty fog, if you will, with a broad high overhead and, and light surface winds. Right now, it would look favorable. We would break out of that warm up to 46. The system on Saturday is not much, but scattered showers in the area, yes. Anywhere from maybe just literally two, three, one hundredths of an inch of rain to at most maybe a tenth. That's what it looks like on Saturday. Sunday starts off quiet, fog to sun. East winds start to develop during the day. And if we get those east winds, I mean, not an all-out east wind event, but certainly blustery out in uh, East Clark and East Multnomah County. That would give us a beautiful sunny Monday. And then I am watching at least a shower chance on Tuesday that, or that may or may not develop. Overall, tomorrow is the most active weather day showing up over the next 7, 8, 9, 10 days. The weather pattern looking forward through much of next week really is looking pretty quiet. Of course, that could change. We'll keep you updated. My weather site's portlandweather.com. Um, Thanks for using my YouTube channel and hitting subscribe. Tell your friends about it, and I will talk to you soon.